Why hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jurassic Park. I mean another video, because that would be copyright and shit. Today we're featuring an interesting reptile species known as the Philippine Salvin Lizard. Well, this lizard is also known by anomaly, or the Latin name for it, would be Hydrosaurus pustulatus. I think that's how you would pronounce that, or pustulatus, or pustulatus. This species is also commonly known throughout the world as the Crested Lizard, the Sailfin Water Lizard, and is also known as the Soa Soa Water Lizard. Sailfin Lizards belong to the class Reptilia, or commonly known as reptiles. They share this class with Crocodilians, Shalonians, Snakes, Turatrawas, and other such lizard species. Sailfin Lizards can reach up to a metre in length, or just three feet, uh, as the name actually suggests, the Philippine Southern Lizard is native to the Philippines and is found throughout all these islands except the island known as Palawan. The dietary needs of the Southern Lizard include a variety of plant material and fruit. The diet also though includes insects and occasionally crustaceans. This is just a little lovely image of the Southern Lizard and a nice little taxonomic tree of the Southern Lizard. Taxonomy is how animals are classed together, it's also known as classification. And me to do this roughly at the top of my head, you have the kingdom, which is the malia, which would be branched into like all different animal life. The phylum, which is chlordata, all animals that have a vertebrate, which include humans, homo sapiens, all manner of reptiles, birds, mammals, amphibians and fish, all come under chlordata, as we have a backbone or vertebrate. Insects, arachnids, and generally all these other orders come into separate uh, phylums. You have class, which is reptilia, as in for reptiles. Order is squamata, which I think includes lizards and snakes, but I might be incorrect with that. Snakes might come under an order called serpentine or serpenta, but I might be wrong. Family got a magmadi, which is just a family on the branch lizards that you can be branched into. You have the actual genus, which is there are probably a few different subspecies of Southin lizard, and they would come under Hydrosaurus. Then you have the individual species, which is Pustulatus. For example, with lions, they are called Pantheroleo, and Panthero is the genus that so comes first, and that just means big cats. For example, for the standard lion, you have Pantheroleo, Leo being the species, and for another animal, such as the tiger, you have Panthero tigris. Here are just some lovely facts, ladies and gentlemen, which I hope you enjoy very much. Southin lizard is semi aquatic by nature, meaning it is at both at home in both terrestrial and water based environments. Southin lizard is also endemic to the Philippines. The word endemic meaning they're only found with this region and not found anywhere else within the world. Southin lizard is classified as vulnerable by the IUCN. This simply translates to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. Habitat loss and destruction and hunting pressure for the exotic pet trade is what makes this amazing species of lizard currently endangered. Conservationists are implementing different methods which include a captive breeding program that has been set up by Chester Zoo, one of the best zoos in the UK, and also three local rescue centres within Negros and Panay in the Philippines are looking to establish breeding programmes and educational projects regarding the South in Lizard, which hopefully can raise awareness and increase the knowledge by the local population about this animal. Female South in Lizards often only breed about once a year and will often lay several clutches of eggs with each clutch containing about two to eight eggs. With the hatchings emerging roughly two months after. The South Lizard is also a semi aquatic species and is comfortable within the trees and the water. When threatened, South Lizards can submerge for up to 15 minutes until the danger has passed. Just thought I would include an awesome little drawing of the mighty Godzilla, as the South Lizard and a species of lizard known as the Galapagos Marine Iguana. Both are semi-aquatic species, which would be similar to Godzilla, because he's typically seen swimming throughout the oceans, causing chaos. And also, they both look sort of similar, without obviously having atomic like fire breath and being 100 foot tall. But they're still nice little uh, species of lizards that probably Godzilla was actually based upon. Overall, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this video. 
I apologise if my voice sounds a bit strange or laboured today, it's just I feel a bit poorly and under the weather. Overall though, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe and join the Raptor Pack today. And most importantly, have a splendid day wherever you are in the world.